Today we will explore the various stages a nuclear power plant goes through, from construction to decommissioning. Nuclear power has been a significant source of electricity generation in many countries, and understanding the life cycle of a nuclear power plant is crucial to grasp its complexities. So, let's dive in and explore the different phases a nuclear power plant goes through. Before me dropping value bombs of this video, I would like to introduce the Nuclear Power Engineering Principles course, now available on Udemy. This comprehensive course is your ticket to mastering the principles of nuclear power engineering and taking your career to new heights. Packed of engaging lectures, this course is designed to provide you with a deep understanding of nuclear power engineering principles. And the best part? Upon completing the course, you will receive a prestigious certificate of completion to showcase your newly acquired skills and knowledge. It is a valuable credential that can open doors to exciting career opportunities in the nuclear power industry. Don't miss out on this incredible opportunity to unlock your potential with Nuclear Power Engineering Principles course. Enroll now and gain access to this top-rated course at an unbeatable price. But hurry, as this offer won't last long. Join us today and take the first step towards a successful career in nuclear power engineering. Enroll now in the Nuclear Power Engineering Principles course on Udemy and unlock your potential. Don't wait and start your learning journey now. Now, if you're interested, the link to this course is provided in the video description below. The construction phase is the first stage in the life cycle of a nuclear power plant. It involves site selection, obtaining necessary permits and licenses, and building the infrastructure for the plant. Construction of a nuclear power plant is a complex and time-consuming process that requires careful planning and adherence to strict safety regulations. The construction phase typically involves several key activities, including site preparation, excavation, concrete pouring, and installation of various components such as the reactor, turbines, and cooling systems. It also involves the installation of safety features, such as containment structures, emergency shutdown systems, and radiation protection measures, to ensure the safe operation of the plant. Safety is a top priority in every phase of a nuclear power plant's life cycle. The construction phase can take several years or even decades, depending on the size and complexity of the plant. Once construction is complete, the nuclear power plant enters the operational phase, where it generates electricity by harnessing the energy from nuclear fission reactions. During this phase, the plant is subject to rigorous safety protocols, regulations, and inspections to ensure safe and efficient operation. The operational phase involves the regular operation of the plant, including the loading of nuclear fuel into the reactor, the controlled fission reactions that generate heat, and the production of electricity through a steam turbine. The plant also requires ongoing maintenance, inspections, and upgrades to ensure its safe and reliable operation. Additionally, the operational phase involves the management of nuclear waste generated during the power generation process. Nuclear power plants generate spent fuel, which is highly radioactive and requires careful handling, storage, and disposal according to regulatory guidelines. After the operational phase, a nuclear power plant eventually reaches the end of its useful life and enters the decommissioning phase. Decommissioning involves the safe removal of the plant from service and managing its components and radioactive materials in a responsible manner. Decommissioning can be a complex and lengthy process that includes decontamination, dismantling of structures, and waste management. There are different decommissioning strategies, including immediate dismantling, deferred dismantling, and entombment, depending on regulatory requirements, safety considerations, and site-specific conditions. Decommissioning activities may include the removal and treatment of radioactive materials, dismantling of buildings and equipment, 
and site restoration. The goal is to ensure that the site is safely and responsibly managed, and any potential risks to human health and the environment are mitigated. Throughout the life cycle of a nuclear power plant, there are potential environmental impacts and safety considerations that need to be addressed. During the construction phase, potential impacts may include habitat destruction, soil erosion, and water pollution. The operational phase requires strict safety protocols and measures to prevent accidents, releases of radioactive materials, and protect workers and the public. Proper management of nuclear waste, including spent fuel, is crucial to avoid potential environmental and health risks. During the decommissioning phase, careful handling of radioactive materials, waste disposal, and site restoration are essential to minimize potential impacts on the environment and surrounding communities. Safety measures, regulations, and oversight by regulatory bodies play a vital role in ensuring the safe operation and decommissioning of nuclear power plants. Another important aspect of the life cycle of a nuclear power plant is community involvement and public perception. Nuclear power plants are often subject to public scrutiny and concerns about safety, environmental impacts, and the handling of radioactive materials. It's crucial for nuclear power plant operators to engage with local communities, address their concerns and provide transparent information about the safety measures, regulations, and environmental impacts associated with the plant's operation and decommissioning. Community involvement and public perception can also play a role in the decision-making process for site selection, construction, and decommissioning of nuclear power plants. Building trust and maintaining open communication with the public are essential to ensure a positive perception of nuclear power as a viable energy source. As technology continues to evolve, there are potential advancements that could impact the life cycle of nuclear power plants. Advanced reactor designs, improved safety features, and more efficient waste management techniques are being researched and developed to further enhance the safety and sustainability of nuclear power. Advanced reactors, such as small modular reactors, SMRs, and Generation 4 reactors, offer potential benefits in terms of safety, efficiency, and waste reduction. These advancements could impact the construction, operation, and decommissioning phases of nuclear power plants leading to more efficient and environmentally friendly practices. Additionally, the future outlook for nuclear power will depend on various factors, including regulatory frameworks, public perception, energy demand, and technological advancements. As the world continues to seek low-carbon energy sources to mitigate climate change, nuclear power could play a significant role in providing clean and reliable electricity. And that brings us to the end of our video on the life cycle of a nuclear power plant, from construction to decommissioning. We've explored the different phases involved, including construction, operation, decommissioning, environmental impacts, community involvement, and future outlook. The life cycle of a nuclear power plant is a complex and carefully regulated process that involves safety measures, environmental considerations, and community engagement to ensure responsible and sustainable operation. If you're enjoying learning about the exciting world of engineering on our channel, be sure to hit that like button and subscribe to our channel. It really helps us out, and you won't want to miss any of our upcoming videos.